no, I mean, overall, I was very happy with the year. Um, didn't end the way exactly I would have liked to, but um, just looking at the way that my uh, pitches developed throughout the year, um, I was really happy with it. I had a had a tough stretch kind of after the All-Star break, but I was really happy with how I ended the year, um, consistently getting outs, making pitches. Um, overall, I'm just kind of looking to build on that. Um, I made some adjustments this off season to hopefully find a little bit more velocity, but um, more just to have a more consistent delivery and be able to um, execute pitches a little bit higher clip than I was last year. Can you take us through, generally speaking, what the adjustments are? Or? Uh, just some lower half adjustments to um, kind of get in my legs a little bit more and uh, just kind of put myself in a little bit more powerful position as I move down the mound. What was your health wise after what happened at the end of the year with your hand? Oh, really good. I mean, uh, I honestly thought I was going to be a little bit behind when I showed up to camp, but um, I had some really good strides in January with my uh, with my OT, and um, I don't know. If anything, I got an extra month off of throwing that I've never had before, so my arm feels awesome. Did How you tough was that to watch, to watch the guys in the World Series and not just... Uh, it was pretty tough, especially watching some of the situations where I'm like, ah, this is the... This is a spot I'd be in the game, and um, I mean, we, we have such a deep staff, and we have so many good guys. It was, uh, you know, I, it wasn't missed at all, but I mean, it, it, was, it was really tough to watch from the dugout. You, did you have to have a procedure on your hand, anything, anything there that you went through once ago after you broke it? Yes, no, I, had a, I had a plate and seven screws put in uh, my hand after, or whenever it happened, but I haven't had anything since then, and I won't have anything moving forward. So what's what? the maintenance to handle? You know, post post surgery, post procedure, you definitely do anything anything different before or after throwing. Uh, not anymore. No, everything was smoothed out in January, so now it's just a normal spring training for me. When you talked to us, you were you admitted that look, it was it was a mistake. You were you know quite open and, and honest about it. You learned anything from that from that process? Looking back on it, you talk about how, <laughs> how painful it was to have to sit there and, and, and watch. What did you take from that? Yeah, I mean, I sure hope I learned something from it. I mean, I don't really want to go through that uh, surgery again, uh, or you know, watching the boys again out there without me. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know, not much to say. I mean, yeah, obviously learned my lesson from that. How weird was that when it, when it happened? You knew you'd made a mistake. What was that like mm -hmm. in that moment? Uh, in the moment it happened, I, I honestly didn't think it was as bad as it was. Um, I was able to reset the bone and I thought it was just, you know, it wasn't gonna feel good. Um, didn't know the uh, structural damage was as much as it was, but um, yeah, I mean, it was a bummer. But, uh, you know, moving forward, it's just kind of something that have to learn from and uh, yeah, it won't happen again. What did you think about your brother being traded to the American League? <laughs> well, I saw we got him uh, got him at home pretty early in the year, so I'm really looking forward to seeing him again get a little rematch. Your mother going to come down and watch? Oh yeah, no, I believe so. It's uh, It wasn't good luck the first time, but uh, we'll see if uh, see if we can change the luck this time. <laughs> did your brother give you a hard time over anything that happened? Because it was after that outing that he got the hit off the right Oh yeah, no, he still gave me a good. He's still giving me a good bit of uh, crap about it. So I uh, gotta gotta retool the uh, the arsenal for that at bat. Do you need to get even with him on that hit? Oh yeah, no, of course. Yeah, I just can't can't be having a guy hitting a thousand off you. <laughs> Bill, you talked about you know watching the, watching the guys like uh, the best bullpen in baseball, and and you're back in a part of it. You know, every every piece is back. What is it like coming into spring training knowing that the, you guys have all the bullets? I mean, it's really exciting. Uh, getting Montero back was huge. Um, at the end of the um, and kind of go, going into the off season, that was a really good addition to have him back. Um, I mean, it's, it's just really exciting to come back. I mean, really refreshing. Uh, you know, playing catch with Abreu. Um, you know, yesterday it was just like, man, like it's this is this is really cool stuff. We have a bunch of really good guys, so um, I think we're really putting ourselves in a good position to um, to win a lot of games this year. What do you think about the opportunity to become the first team in 23 years to repeat? I mean, that'd be awesome. I mean, I think we have the right guys to do it. So, I mean, it, it's definitely not out of the question. Would you like playing for Dusty? He'll be back. He'll be in camp for the first time uh, today. Oh, I mean, it's, I've loved every second of it. I mean, uh, the second I got traded over here in 21, it was, uh, you know, felt like I'd been here forever. I mean, he was awesome. Um, the transition was so easy with all the good guys we've had. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's, I I'm so, I'm, couldn't be looking forward to it more. You see a couple of guys get get locked up with you know, new Jim Dana Brown here and the support of, of, of Jim being a part of an organization that believes in that that, that makes it that much more special to be here. Oh, absolutely no. I mean, kind of seeing what was going on in Atlanta. I mean, it, it, it's a really cool way to um, keep your core group of guys together. I mean, as long as we've had uh, Bregman and a Bre uh, and Altuve, it's. Um, you know, it, it's awesome. I mean, whenever you're able to keep those guys together and good clubhouse pieces, um, it creates a good culture and um, ultimately a winning culture. And um, I don't know, it's, I think it's great to have those guys around.